Hello there, welcome to the June 2018 Applied Paper. Here we're looking at question one. So a company is introducing a job evaluation scheme. Points X will be awarded to each job based on the qualification and skills needed in the level of responsibility. Pay, which is measured in Y, uh, in pounds, will be allocated to each job according to the number of points awarded. Before the scheme is introduced, a random sample of eight employees was taken and the linear, correlate, linear regression equation of pay on the points was y equals 4.5x minus 47. Describe the correlation between the between points and pay. Give an interpretation of the gradient of the regression line and explain why this model might not be appropriate for all jobs in the company. So let's just go through the mark scheme. First of all, it is positive correlation because what is effectively going to happening, be happening with this graph is it's going to have a y-intercept at minus 47 and then a gradient of 4.5. Um, so the gradient is 4.5 y-intercept minus 47, so therefore it's positive correlation. For part B, give an interpretation of the gradient of this regression line. For each point received based on qualification and skills, the, um, the employee will receive uh, an extra £4.50 pay for completing the job. Um, so yeah, so there we are. So is it £4.50 an hour or is it... Um, not sure, not sure. Um, just £4.50. Okay, and moving on to part C. Explain why this model might not be appropriate for all jobs in the company. Well, for those who are low skilled and therefore low X points, they might earn a negative amount of money. So it's not suitable for low skilled workers where X is going to be a very low number um, relative to other people in the company. So there we are. That's the answer for question one. Just whizzing through the mark scheme there. Let's now move on to question two.